This is AVL and again with PlayOnPlugins.com. We have another video tutorial today, and we're going to quickly talk about how you can become an author of OPML feeds and help contribute to our community and get more content in the living room. Okay, so we're going to quickly go over this. Uh, I'm at Craft. Uh, magazine's website this is one of our latest uh, files that was uh, created and we're gonna show you some indicators the first thing you wanna look for is this symbol in RSS this is a good sign that, that you might have a good potential feed here another thing here is down below a lot of cases they'll put in small print we're looking again for RSS podcast that kinda of information uh, uh, that would indicate that you might they might potentially have some videos now we're going to click on here okay and you were this is going to show you that we have some pictures here in case there is one video but if you look down further it's pretty much just uh, uh, blogging content, just pictures. Okay, so this is actually not a very good. If uh, maybe you might get one video out of this 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 stream here. Okay, this uh, RSS. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Go back here, and this site clearly defines it has podcasts. So we're gonna click on that. And this is going to take us to our the podcast uh, location, okay? So here, here we're going to look for for our wonderful media files, okay? And the first thing that comes up is a, a YouTube string, uh, but we're we're looking more for the the media files. And here we go. Here's here's one of the files that also has a reference to iTunes. A good indication if it, it plays in iTunes, then it's probably gonna most likely play in play on with the podcast plugin. Okay, there's there's typically gonna be a compatibility there. Alright. So we're we're gonna look down here and look for more of these video feeds. Here's another one. So, I would safely say this this is a good site to test out and uh, try out with the Play On software. Okay, here's another feed. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up an OPML file. So, I'm gonna go down to podcast. This is this is in my case computer local to C program files media mail plugins podcast this is in a Vista uh, machine here alright so we've, we've gone to our, our directory structure for the podcast OPML files I'm gonna bring up uh, the actual file that was created for this website so this is this is gonna be the, the actual coding involved with it alright now the major guts involved are your title this is very important we've gone over to a, a new organization uh, with uh, menus and sub menus so we, we don't have 250 podcasts listed in your main root directory when you bring up the podcast plugin, okay. So this is going to be uh, a very nice setting for going forward, and and please take effective of this setting, okay. Now you want to make a determination as best as possible what this what this uh, title is going to be under, okay. Now you want to go to our wonderful website and check out what current titles we have. Also, another indication is uh, you can look at current uh, podcast streams that have been created and cross-reference that maybe with that, that heading, okay, to give you an idea. Alrighty, let's go back to our file here. 
uh, which you would want to change the name of. We're going to just leave it as is. So in this case, there, there's only really one feed here, okay? So you just you can just put the category that you want to put it under, and then under that category, there's going to be a submenu called Craft Magazine. Now, if you had multiple streams here, okay, for Craft Magazine, we would want to add a slash here and call it uh, Craft Magazine in this case. And then you could add additional the additional stream here. Some websites will have multiple podcast or media streams going on. Okay, an example would be uh, the Pentagon uh, news plugin that was just created. And you can check out the formatting on that and by looking at the, the text file. Okay? Alrighty, so that's that's the uh, that's the first thing we do. We need to figure out what what is the title going to be. All right. Once you've done that, we have our our feed here. So this is a simple uh, copy and paste into your your file. Okay. So we've copied and pasted that in here. Uh, we've outlined our text name. This is what's going to come up again on the submenu, and I I prefer the the count as being a negative one. If you don't put any count here, I believe it defaults to 50. Uh, a negative one basically will show all submenu feeds. Okay. Uh, you could also toggle that to your own particular number. Also, you can set the duration of the time on the feed if you if you want to change that um, that time duration now CA360 has put together a tutorial guide for developers which I recommend you reviewing in conjunction with this video and that will be helpful of uh, creating creating this uh, file the stream for you and we can get more people actively adding content okay well I think that pretty much covers the basics uh, we're, we're we have uh, we've created we found our website we found our podcast stream and we've created our OPMO file okay thanks for watching and you guys have a great day